Let me rewrite this so we can see it better. X plus 4y equals 18, and 2x plus 3y equals 21. So we're just going to go through, did I look through uh, how everybody's doing, look through some that several people seem to be struggling with. We're just going to go through those all right, before we start the quiz. So what to do? How are we going to solve this? Yes. Both sides by negative 2. Okay? So I'm just going to kind of cross that out, give myself a little error so I know that I have this new equation that's equivalent to this equation. Okay, so multiply through by negative 2, we get negative 2x uh, minus 8y equals negative 36. <coughs> so we did that. <coughs> now we By doing what? Well, they're opposite from each other, so. Right? Cross them out. <laughs> so I, I don't know the exact step. <laughs> well, how is it they, they cancel each other out? They're opposites, so they cancel each other out when we do what with them? Divide. Divide? Add them together. Add them together. We're adding both sides. Right? Okay? So we're adding this stuff to this stuff this stuff to this stuff. All right? Am I being too picky? Answer no. I'm not being too picky. Okay. What are we doing? Add. Okay. I'm sure you got the right answer. Yeah. But I'm looking for we're adding them together. All right. So when we add these together, 2x minus 2x is no x. 3y minus 8y is negative 5y. Negative 15. What's that? 15, you said? Yeah. 15. And naturally, we divide by negative 5 y is positive 3. So y is positive 3, and we need x, right? How do we find x? Plug it into one of the equations. Which one? You can pick. You can pick. That's what I wanted to hear. It doesn't matter which one you use, right? Because a solution to this system is a, is what? What does it mean to find a solution to the system? You get an output. And? And an input that works for both. Exactly. Input and output, x and a y, that works in both equations. So if it, so we can pick. If it works in either equation, we can pick which equation to use to find x. Okay. So uh, I'll pick. Actually, I'll pick the original one because like all the numbers are pretty small, right? So x um, plus four times three equals eighteen. x plus 12 equals 18. x equals 6. So what's the solution? 6 comma 3, or x is 6 and y is 3. That's our solution. Okay, so this system is 3x minus 3y, negative 18, negative 4x minus 2y equals negative 36. Okay. Yeah, what I would like you to make a guess at is why did I go for, so we, we just did the one that we did previously, why did I pick this one now for us to do? Because you have to multiply each equation by something to get the more. Okay, so we do something like this. You've got to remember. Eggs. No. Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll have uh, Justin catch her. He'll help you out. I'm having problems with these other things. This one. Sports. No. It hasn't happened to a single eggs. person in all my classes. Discouraged. Anybody else that I missed? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, because we have to multiply both equations by something, not just one of them. Okay, so what are we going to do? Like, we're going to multiply this by something, and this by something else, and in the end, we hope to have what? What are we trying to make happen here? Negative y positive y or negative x positive x, right? That they're exact opposites. What do you say? Well, I'd say you can use the y and stuff to just seem more easier and stuff. Just to kind of get that out of the the y's are easier? A little bit. Makes them lower and stuff, so a lot. The numbers are lower, okay. So make a negative 3 a, a positive uh, 2. Negative 3 a well, positive. Well, multiply everything by negative and by positive 2. Multiply this by a positive 2. And then that one by a negative 3. Okay. So, uh, I mean, that's that's what, what Tyler's line of thinking is. Mine would be, this is positive, this is negative, but you're thinking the numbers would be smaller if I choose the y's, right? I'm not afraid to multiply by negative, <coughs> Tyler says. It doesn't matter. Okay. I would go uh, 4 and 3, but he went 2 and negative 3. They're just smaller numbers, and that, that's a, a great choice. So 2 times 3 is 6 here. Let me turn the around here. 6x minus 6y equals negative 36. Okay, and this one is right here. Uh, we get a positive 12x plus 6y equals, that would be a negative 36, so we get a positive. All right. So as we said before, we add them together so that the y values will cancel out. We get 18x equals, because this goes to 0, we get uh, 72. 72. And divide by 18. Does that go in nicely? 4. Four. Thank you very much. So x is 4, then we find y by doing what? Plugging the sum equation. This one, that one, doesn't matter. I'll use that one, because I don't really have a good reason why. So negative. I don't know what's going on here. Negative 4 times 4, because that's what x is, minus 2y equals negative 36. minus 2y equals negative 36. We add 16 to both sides. Negative 2y equals negative 20. 20. And so we divide by negative 2y is positive 10. So the solution, let's see. Then is what? Four comma ten. Right, good. So I mean, that on information. So before ten, I was trying to show you that this person did that, but apparently doesn't like that idea. All right. So now we have. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit here. Or uh, you on the top right. Well, I know, I'm looking there. <laughs> well, further right. Further right? <coughs> Where the, there's the three bars? For oh, there's bars. a zoom there. Zoom. More zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this will, oh, I might give a little more area to work on too. Okay, cool. So we've got uh, the sum of two angles is 89. Angle 2 is 40 degrees smaller than 2 times angle 1. I don't want to give too much away here. Well, there, whoever. Uh, that might be a wrong answer, so I don't know. But, but 
angle one and angle two. We're gonna have to represent them as some kind of variables, right? I don't feel like I'm too, giving away too much. I am giving away a little bit, but not too much when I say we have to represent them as variables somehow. Okay, so why not x and y? Uh, angle one, uh, angle two, okay? Angle one and angle two. Just as a reference, so we'll know when we get done. X is, when it asks us about angle one or two, we know which one is which. All right, so uh, the sum is 89, angle two is 40 degrees smaller than twice angle one, two times angle one, and one of these two angles. So, if we have this word problem, and doing systems of equations, we need to write two equations with two variables, right? I'll take x plus y equals 89, mm -hmm. and then since angle 2 is 2 times, or er, angle 2 is 40 times smaller than 2 times angle 40 one. times is smaller? Or er, er, 40 degrees smaller than 2 times angle 1, Okay. So, uh, y equals uh, x2 minus 40, would you like that? Great. Now that, that can be a tricky equation to write right there. Okay, it can, the wording can be a little bit confusing. All right, but if you if you replace the names of these things with the variables you've used, and understand what words in English mean what in in math symbols, it becomes fairly clear. Okay, what are we calling angle two? We're calling it y. So now we can we can start to reread the sentence as y is. Now when I say y is, what does that mean? Y is something. Equals. Yeah, like we're making a statement. Y is something, is equal to, equivalent to something else. So we can replace this with equals, replace it with equals. What does 40 smaller mean? Subtract. Yeah, 40 smaller, if, if, if you have 40 less of something than I do, you take what I have, subtract 40, that's what you have, right? So this is, subtract 40 from something. Not 40 minus something, right? Subtract 40 from something. 40 smaller than what? Two times angle one. What's angle one? X. Right? You take it just a, a, a second or two and realize that they're making a statement about angle one and angle two, and that's what an equation is. It's a statement about the relationship between X and Y. So, we have two equations. How will we solve the system of equations? It doesn't say. It doesn't say how. It just says to solve it. Find x and y. Find angle one and two. Yes. Substitution. Substitution. What do you mean by that? You subtract x from the one side, which is x plus y equals 39. And then you set the two sides of the equation to each other. So, if I subtract x from both sides of this equation, I'll get what y equals? Negative x plus 89. Negative x plus 89. Everybody see that? OK. Maybe you know why you did it. Maybe you don't. So what would we do next? You set each side equal to each other. Now look, this is equal to y. This is equal to y. And aren't these y's supposed to be the same? Isn't the definition of a solution to the system of equations? The same x and the same y. So if they both are the same y, right? this is equal to that y, this is equal to what that y, whatever that number is, they're both equal to that, so they're equal to each other. Okay? It's one of the, you, you might have noticed these common, common notions that I have around. There's five common notions that you could start the elements with. That's one of them. If two, let's say two things are equal to the same thing, then the two things are equal to each other. So 2x minus 40 equals negative x plus 89. We solve for x. Right, so we get 3x uh, equals, I added x to both sides. I'm going to add 40 to both sides. I get 129. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's definitely divisible by 3. What is x now? Okay, that's x, it's 43. Which angle is uh, angle x? Angle one or two? One. one. So this should have been, looks like this was the wrong answer. This should have been 43. Okay. 
Um, and we find angle y. I, I would use definitely one of these equations, right? Because they're already solved for y. Uh, so y equals, let's say, negative 43 plus 89. And y equals probably 46, right? 46. So angle 1 is 43, angle 2 is 46. How's that? Does that work? You know what? Um, what we could have done also is just go back here. What's that? Uh, <coughs> since y equals 2x minus 40, you could just plug it in. Like, right. Substitute it Take this y. guy, replace y with that. Okay. What will happen? Well, I won't have a y in this equation anymore because it will be replaced with an expression with x in it. That equals y. That equals, yeah, it's equivalent to y. So there's another way to go. We could, uh, you know, Take this guy here, subtract two x from both sides. Now we'll have two equations that are re ready for elimination to be used on them. Go that way, all sorts of different ways to go. All right, next. Okay, let's get all the room we have. Uh, all of the fourth grade teachers and students from Gardner, Bullis. Went on a field trip to an archaeology museum. Tickets were each for teachers and each for students. I feel like we're missing some information there. Uh, is it because we're zooming in too much? No. Well, let's just read a little bit. Hmm. It's a dollar amounts. They were there this morning. So you're missing those dollar amounts. I don't know why they disappeared, but here they are again. Uh, all of the fourth grade. There was a tickets for five dollars for teachers, four fifty for students. They paid thirty seven fifty in total. Uh, the next month, the same group visited a science museum where the tickets cost ten dollars each uh, for teachers and eight fifty for students, and they paid seventy two fifty. Find the number of students and teachers. We need two equations, two variables. Okay, <coughs> let's just label our variables real quick. What should x represent? Teachers. 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 That's teachers. Y, obviously students. Blah blah blah. Okay, what do you say? Um, for the first one, you can use five x. What's five x? What's that? Mean? That's representing five dollars for every ticket. Every right. adult ticket sold. Yeah. And five dollars times x number of teachers is going to be how much the teachers paid for their all their tickets all together, right? And then plus four fifth four point five y equal to thirty seven point five. Right, because this is the dollar amount of the teachers' tickets all together. This is the dollar amount of the student tickets all together, and this is the cost of all of the the tickets all together. Now, this equation, I couldn't possibly know what both of these numbers are. There's lots of solutions. I can plug in an x and solve for y, and then I'll, there I'll have it. Right? There's probably even several solutions that are whole numbers, like that aren't, don't wind up being like 2.5 students or something like that. I can't know exactly how many there are. I have two variables until I have a second equation. Okay. So, second equation? Okay. Um, 10x plus 8.5 y. It's equal to 72.5. Because the second trip, they went to a different place. This is how much the teacher tickets cost. So 10 times the number of teachers. It's the same, same group. The same group. Same number of teachers and students. 
So the amount spent on teachers the, plus the amount spent on students is the amount spent on the group as a whole. Right. So what's our approach for solving this? Alright, 8.5y, obviously 10x minus 10x is 0, 8.5y minus 9y is negative 0.5y equals 72.5, um, oh sorry, minus 75 is on the other side, so 72.5 minus 75 is negative <coughs> 2.5. Right, so we divide both sides by negative 0.5, which is the same as multiplying both sides by negative 2. So y equals 5. What does that mean? What's y equals 5 tell us? How many students? How many students went? And uh, we're going to solve for the number of teachers by taking this and plug it into one of these equations. Okay. I guess this one is what we're going to do. Um, so 5x plus 4.5 times. Five. Uh, oh, okay. uh, equals 37.5. What's that? That's 22.5. 5. 22.5. 5x plus 22.5 equals 37.5. 5x x is 3. So that means what? Three teachers. Three teachers went. Okay. Oh, I kind of meant to put this towards the beginning because this is a little bit more of a simple system. That's fine. Sum of two numbers is 61. How do I say that? Sum of two numbers is 61. x plus y equals 61. Exactly, their difference is 39. Yeah, x minus 5 plus 39. How are we going to solve this system? Elimination. Elimination is it's, it's prime for elimination, right? It is ideal. These are already opposites. So we add them together, we get 2x equals 100. x equals 50. Plug that in there. 50 plus y equals 61. Y equals 11. Are we right? Am I right? Oh, 50. There we go. And it asks about the larger and the smaller number, so the larger number would be 50, and the smaller number would be 11. Okay, graphing systems of inequalities. Now, I'm going to have to zoom in. Zoom out. This is an actual student's work. We can't see their work on the other ones, but we can see the work here. We can see what they've graphed. So what we want to do is, this is not tr correct. We figure out what they did wrong. Like what is it that they need to fix? Okay. Yes? On the green equation, y is less than or equal to, and it's showing it's greater than. Uh, so this green one is shaded above. It should be shaded below. below. Everything else is good, right? Solid lines, because we have equal to. All right, 
right, look, look, look at this blue one. If we uh, add x to both sides, we'll have it in uh, slope-intercept form. Right, so it'll be y is less than or equal to x minus 2. That'll be a slope of 1 and a y-intercept of negative 2. So uh, y-intercept of negative 2, slope of 1. That's good. Shaded below. Um, and this one as well, y-intercept of 2, slope of up 7 over 3. Uh, it should be shaded below. And that was the correct answer. That's an A. Figure out what was wrong about this. Um, on the, I think it's green. I think it's the green. Um, this is the green one. Be, it should be shaded above. Should be shaded above because instead of below. Y is greater than greater. One's good then. <laughs> um, yep. This is slow bro. For which one? Not the blue one. The blue one is it? It's supposed to be. Yeah. It's supposed to be x instead of negative x. X instead of negative x. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean like if you were put in a slope-intercept form? Yeah. Here, let me. Well, yeah, we'll I, Give me a pen. So if we add two x to both sides, we'll have y, or sorry, two y is uh, less than or equal to two x plus two. And then we divide by two on both sides. We get y is less than or equal to x plus one. So the slope should be a positive one slope to so go up one and over one. Okay, if it if it were up one and over one, then which how should it be shaded above or below? Above, below. It's shaded below here, right? That person has that correct. That, that slope wrong. Okay. So <coughs> we're thinking that the shading on the green one should switch, and the uh, the slope should change. It has the, the right uh, y-intercept, but it should have this positive slope. Last one, this is where you graph a system and you tell whether or not certain points are solutions. So, so what are we going to do, like if, you, if this were your problem to do, what would you do first? on the other side and isolate y. Isolate y, great. Okay, so let's go this way. And we've got 4y is greater than 6x minus 16. Divide by 4y is greater than uh, 3 halves x minus 4. Okay, so let's check out. I should have done that all in blue. But I didn't. I can't fix it. So, um, Let's check on this should be the blue one. Here's the blue stuff going on here. Y-intercept the negative four. Slope of up three over two. Okay. Um, dotted line? Yes? Shade above? Yes. Okay, looks good. Um, and then this one is a different green color. So six y is less than three x plus twenty-four. Divide by six, y is less than, did I do something wrong? Um, it's negative three x. Negative three x, yes. Negative one half x, that doesn't look right. Negative one half x, uh, divided by six, so plus four. Okay, so this green guy, uh, four uh, down, Green? Is it right? No. What's wrong with it? Down one over 
number two, so we kind of like get the slope uh, reciprocal. Care about that. Careful about that. So we we reciprocal that slope. Let me be correct. There we go. All right. Now there's still more to answer because the question is negative nine two is that a solution and negative five seven is that a solution? All right. Negative nine two. You don't have to graph this necessarily. It's not saying that, but here is negative nine two. Now we know where it is. Is that a solution to the system? Is the question. Yes. yes. Marcus, you say yes. Why do you say yes? Can the area where both are uh, yeah. The area where both are shaded. Those are the points that satisfy both of these inequalities. Or that all of these are the points that satisfy both of those inequalities. Uh, negative nine two, negative five seven, negative five and seven. There, solution. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like it. No. Okay. So let me throw these at you. Just throw out some more points. How about um, uh, an easy one like six two? Is six two a solution? It's like super not a solution. Why would I say it's super not a solution? It's on the shape. Solution either one, it's not in the shaded area of either one of those. How about 4, 2? Um, no. 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 Since it's not equal to. Okay, so that lands, like it seems like right on both of them, right? But it lands on the line, the line is dashed. The line being dashed means all of these are excluded, are excluded right? What happens if I pick a, a point from on this blue line? What, is, what will that point do? When I take it to the blue equation or blue uh, inequality, both sides will be equal. Is that okay? No, they cannot be equal to each other. Right? That's why this dotted line is—it's not really a line; it's just kind of like a border. The shaded area stops right here, just short of this dotted line. Okay, so anything on this dotted line not a solution. Um, yeah. So really, anything along here, not going to be a solution, not going to be a solution along here either. When you graph these for me on the quiz, since it's pen and paper, or pencil and paper, or whatever, make sure you emphasize that overlapping shaded area. Whether that's the only sh part you shade, whether you make it much, much darker, whether you do one shading as like a crosshatch this way and the other one's a crosshatch the other way and where the two overlap, it's, it's really clear. Make sure you emphasize that. That's my last one. What did you think about all that? Do you think that was pretty helpful to go over those ones that, that people had gotten wrong? I picked from the, the ones that people got incorrect. Um, all right, well, great. Any other questions? All right, we got 11 question quiz here.